Damage to the Nord Stream pipeline could signal a new phase of hybrid war between the Europeans and the Russians, especially as another leak has now been reported by Sweden. The Swedish Coast Guard has reported that now two of the holes are in its territorial waters, while the two other leaks are in the Danish economic zone. It is important to express that it has not happened in Danish waters. It has happened in international waters. And it is not Danish infrastructure. But that does not make it any less serious. A serious issue indeed, especially as international waters means it has now effectively become an international problem. We are, as part of our assistance to the investigation, sharing information we may have uh, on these acts, on these apparent acts of sabotage. The Americans and the Europeans are accusing Russia of sabotage and have vowed a robust response. The Kremlin was quick to dismiss such claims. It is all rather predictable and predictably stupid to voice versions like this. I repeat, predictably stupid and absurd. It's a big problem for us as well, as the pipelines are filled with Russian gas, which is also very expensive. While an investigation is still underway, those in the Baltic are strengthening their defense capabilities. And so are those outside of the Nord Stream region. It's quite likely that we will also see attacks on Norwegian energy exports soon, particularly in the winter, when European gas storages are decreasing and the energy situation is even more critical than it is now, as Russia will aim to put absolute pressure on the West to force Ukraine to a peace establishment with criteria that Moscow can accept. Over the course of Russia's war in Ukraine, the West has accused Moscow of weaponizing its energy exports. The big question is, will the Baltic Sea become the new battlefield as Russia continues to lose more ground on land? No!